Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Can you hear the coffee brewing in the background? It's like rain falling, it's like ocean sounds. <laughs> Just kidding, that's ridiculous. Hey, I'm gonna do a once a month grocery haul tomorrow, which means today we gotta prep for it. And I have not done a once a month grocery haul since June, like the beginning of June. And we're going into August now, so it is time. Things are gonna be crazy, but I definitely have to do it and I've gotta do some serious meal planning. So let me start first. Let's throw a quick meal plan together. It's not gonna be quick. Let's, let's be realistic here. Um, but let me start it for you and show you kind of how I meal plan. It'll take just a few minutes. And then I'm gonna go around and prep this baby, show you all the cabinets, all the things, and we're gonna make our list. We're gonna check it twice, find out who's there, who's not, what party we're headed to next. And um, yeah, and hopefully this will help us to have a really awesome once a month grocery haul. This right here, this prep is what makes that once a month possible. You know what I'm saying? So let's go try to do a little bit of some planning for meals and then we'll just keep on keeping on with this shindig. Let's go. Meal planning takes a planner. This is my Clever Fox planner. Have you guys seen this? I know I showed it once before, but I am really loving it. If you are in the market for a planner, this is the way to go. Um, there's like a cool monthly review on here. Gives you some ways that you can work on goals if you're into that. It'll have uh, the month and these are where you can write down your own dates so that you don't have to, um, ooh, coffee's done. Hey. It lets you fill in the dates so you can start this anytime. You know how it is when you're like, oh man, this planner starts in July and you know, it's April and I'm just now thinking I should get a planner. So which one do you get? Do you get last year's, the next year's, this one? Doesn't matter what year, what day, what month, boom, it's ready for you. So you have your normal days and then at the end, at the back here, you can get more specific on the days and then you have goals for the week, um, life balance, to-do list, things you're excited about, your personal to-do list, your work to-do list. That's gonna be really helpful. And then it has these um, different strings, you know? so that when you're in different parts of your planner, you're good to go. But my favorite part, you wanna see? Well, there's two. See these dots right here? It's like a mind map. So you know how you can kind of just doodle a bit and draw extensions off of a thought or an idea? Yeah, but then they've got it on huge pages. So if you're into that, I have a code down below if you're interested in that and you guys can check it out. But this is important for making my list um, for eating. So the reason that this is important to have your calendar out when you're making this uh, meal plan is because sometimes you've got a commitment like every Tuesday, right? And so you're not home or you've got something where you have to grab something really quick or whatever it might be. And having a calendar out lets me know, like for instance, we have tennis on Mondays which means we have Chipotle and Chick-fil-A on Mondays. That's just like our go-to thing. Tennis gets over kind of late and um, everybody's hungry and it's just, we have a good system for that. There are five Mondays, but if I wasn't looking at my calendar, I might mentally think like, oh, there's only four of them. So it just helps to make sure that I'm getting enough at the store or I'm not getting too much kind of a thing. So I'm going to write down um, five days worth of out. So Chipotle, Chick-fil-A. Last week we got HelloFresh. And the reason we got HelloFresh is because we get bored and we get into a rut. And it's just nice for somebody to send us something and say, try this, you might actually like it. And we've actually kept a lot of their recipes because we have liked them. So for instance, um, we made something recently that we really liked from them. And what's cool on the app is that you can see how to make everything. It's not quite as easy because you have to go page by page and see the steps to making whatever the thing is. Um, so if you don't want to order it, you can see it. I don't know if that's possible if you're not like a customer, um, but they have also tons of access to other recipes. So it's really nice. And um, one of the things I saw was this tilapia sesame green onion tilapia pesto thing and I thought it looked divine so I'm putting tilapia down as one of those. We've also been loving shrimp. Now if you don't know everything that you want to put on your list the next thing that we're going to do going through every cabinet and drawer and all of that really will help with that because then you'll go okay I've already got like 10 million things of chicken let's make some chicken meals. So this is one way of doing it and another way of doing it is by starting 
what we're gonna do next. So let me put down a couple things here and then we'll go look in the freezer and that'll help to fill in the spaces. This is also a great time to try those new recipes, put that on your list, like that tilapia one is new for me and I know that I'm gonna wanna have that set and ready to go. People have often asked me, how do you, if you're only doing a once a month grocery haul, how do you get enough fresh food to last for the month? Because my food won't last past a week or two weeks. Yeah, me too. I don't have magical food. I don't have a magical refrigerator. It doesn't last. I get the vast majority of things that I need at that once a month grocery haul, and then I go back weekly for fresh things. There's no way I can make a banana last four weeks, like unless I want brown, nasty bananas. And sometimes that's great because I'll make banana bread, but as far as like eating fresh things, I have to go back. And I think that's an important thing to remember that unless you're gonna do a lot of canned things or a lot of frozen things, fresh stuff is fresh and you have to go back and get more. I've really been wanting to make chicken sandwiches, which means I need bacon, but I already have that. <laughs> but tomatoes, cheese, the kids like that too. They've been asking for a French toast, which also needs bacon. French toast is fun because then we do the strawberries and the oranges and uh, I cut up apples and all that kind of stuff. The key I think to saving money at the grocery store is being super realistic with what you're actually going to eat. If you really want to eat salad, but you're not going to eat it, just don't buy it. The next time you go out to eat, grab the salad then. You know, make that part of your meal. Or um, you're having a family get together, tell somebody, bring a salad and then eat it then. But if you're not gonna eat it, really it's just gonna like induce guilt because you're gonna look at it all the time and be like, oh, I wish you weren't in my fridge. I wish I would eat you. Cause you're just gonna look at it and go, oh, I really should eat that salad. I really should eat that salad. Ain't nobody got time for that people. Don't buy it if you're not gonna eat it. But if you're gonna eat it, all the more power to you. And can I be quite honest, I've wasted a lot of salad recently because we were on a big salad kick and then we've sort of lost that love and feeling. You got that love and feeling. We've lost it. So maybe we'll get it back, but it's not there right now. And that's okay. Like I can manage, you know what I'm saying? Also, when you're doing your once a month, make sure that you plan in snacks, dessert, lunch, breakfast. <gasps> Sounds kind of overwhelming, but you can always keep your sheet from one month to the next. So you do that upfront heavy work, then the next month, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, enough of this chit chat. Let's go in the kitchen and start seeing what we have and what we need and how we're gonna make this all work together. Just FYI, things are not gonna be looking super pretty up in here. All right, so interestingly enough, we don't need anything on that rack. Okay, down here, we do. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, refried beans. So tacos we'll definitely have because my family loves it. And I know some of you are gonna tell me, Megan, don't eat them. But I've had my kids requesting some ramen. Ramen or ramen, what do you say? So I got ramen that we need. Oh, we need pumpkin. Not a whole lot else on that shelf. Now this shelf, okay. This is a, a husband buy. He really loves these little mashed potatoes. He loves real ones too, and that's really the only kind I like to make. But sometimes in the married life, you make things you never thought you would for the ones you love. You'll never believe it, but four boxes of noodles will never, ever, ever make it. So we went through a, a time where we weren't having a lot of pasta. Well, that was a very short-lived time. So I'm gonna be getting like a ridiculous amount of pasta and sauce. Let me write that down. This has sort of become my extras area and I want to convert an area down in the basement for kind of these big box things that have extras. But until then, this tiny little spot is what is working for us. I'm gonna put this over in the snack cabinet. This is not open. I'm gonna put that in the snack cabinet. Um, we got an onion. And we got applesauce, I'll put that in the fridge, which means we need more applesauce. Use meat and onions. Okay. We're really not going through bowl pops much anymore. And we definitely need bread. So with bread, I almost always try to have some up here on, in the cabinet 
and then another one down in the freezer. And because we only have one freezer, um, that is something that I get every week. I will be writing that down. I'm super glad I didn't get oatmeal at Sam's Club because the kids weren't much into it. They had a little bit, but not really. We used to get it all the time and then they lost that love and feeling again. Clubhouse crackers, not going through them. Okay, I wonder what that's about. Vanilla wafers, we haven't eaten through those yet, but that'll be coming. Graham crackers. Let's put this with the breakfast stuff. Kids are eating a snack, so I'm gonna put those goldfish back there. And those guys too. Okay, down here. Let's see. Let's move up that. Let's put these in some containers just to make life a little bit easier for everybody. Before I do that, shall we check down here? Nobody's eating those. Awesome. Uh, we got that. We got that. This is nearly pretty much gone. There's a tiny bit of that. A tiny bit, tiny bits. Okay, so hopefully we can either make a snack plate of those tiny bits and um, the kids can munch on those or somebody will just want them for their little snack. But we'll probably get some other cereals here, some Crispix, some Chex. Let me write that down. We'll make this thin to be all pretzels. other bag but I know it's not going to fill it so for right now this is a good thing and uh, bada bing bada bing yeah. I love having my clips back now I can go on clipping other things let's check out baking cabinets so I know that I'm going to need brown sugar regular sugar I have and I might even have a little bit more I'll have to find that out and just so I have the freshest baking soda since this bag is new, I'm going to use this to clean out my sink. Yes. I also have a clean container. So. I use baking soda for a lot. So not just cooking, not just muscle building, as you can see. Baking, muscle building cleaning out sinks and nasty things. That's good for now. I have to be able to get it easily in and out of the cabinet. Boom, diddy, boom. So brown sugar for sure. What's up here? We're good on honey, molasses. Um, I've been using this. This is gonna be good for a long while. Yeah, we've got maple. For sure good on those guys. Okay, so vanilla extract. Okay, lemon and almond. I want to see this almond date, make sure we're good. October, okay, of this year. So I will make sure to be make I need to make sugar cookies. That's what I need to make with that. All right, that looks good. I'm happy with that. How about the coffee cabinet? Oh, we had a birthday. It got crazy. Okay, we didn't use all the birthday stuff that we got, which is kind of shocking. I think life happened. Anybody else ever have life happen? Don't worry. The balloons up there will definitely get used soon, soon, soon. Okay. So we've got our tea. We're good with that. I've got cups in the wash, espresso beans, espresso beans for the espresso maker, let's see, coffee, I'm probably going to get another thing of coffee, most likely at Sam's Club, so let me put that on the list, and that's, that's really it for up here, everything's looking, looking good, more baking, 
I did use the Organic King Arthur this past time when I was making my sourdough bread. This is the whole wheat flour organic and I loved it. So I don't necessarily think that there's a difference yet between the two, but I will let you know if I find one. Um, so I usually make two loaves of sourdough a week and this one probably, I'm, I'm just hoping that this gives me one. Um, so I kind of need to find a better alternative for my high protein flour because I don't know cost wise if it's quite effective enough or maybe I just love it why mess it up so keep ordering it I get this from breadtopia by the way I think we're good on whole wheat though so I'm gonna write that down and figure out how I want to get my high protein flour I'm gonna keep researching that we got the old lazy Susan down here and uh, let's see uh-oh yeah, we got a lot of mac and cheese. It's gonna take a while to get through this, like a really long while, but I went and did it. Um, paper plates, I'm gonna actually put those up so we can use them. Here's the leftover baking soda, and then Zion got a little baking kit for her birthday. So that's something that we'll be working on, but nothing needs to happen with it at the moment. And then I have rice. I am probably going to get a bag of rice. I think that would be a good idea. So down here is looking good. Now up here, okay, we got syrup for days. We are good on our gluten-free pancake mix. We're good on oatmeal. I'm gonna be making some oatmeal cookies or something to give away because that oatmeal's been sitting there way too long. And I like to get things used up because that tells me, hey, we're not really into that. So I need to figure out a way to get that used up. Um, cream of wheat, that's been there a while too, but recently Johan has been interested in that. So, um, so we're going to stick with it for a little bit. And then I've also got some vitamins and then potatoes that need to be used up. But see, this is exactly why I check things out because I need to put a little reminder myself to make some meals with potatoes. So I'm going to put that on my meal plan to make sure that I am using that up. All right, that's actually looking really good in there. Spice cabinet time. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up the olive oil. That is a for sure. Salt, pepper in that regard is great. I do need another box of some like table salt stuff up here. All this is looking good. Still got chili powder for days, folks, because for some reason I lost my mind and bought a whole lot. Um, probably get another garlic clove. All my stuff, sesame. Okay, awesome. Well, that one was super, super easy. Let me write down those things I need to get. All right, let's fill this guy up here. I think refilling things before you go to the store is super important too. Like what I should have done over there is poured those coffee beans into my coffee grinder. And it gives you just a more accurate view of exactly what you have and how quickly you're going to run out of stuff. I think all those little things add up to saving money and ultimately time and money. Okay, that is done. Spice drawer. Very, very slowly, I've been switching them over to these glass ones and then I have a label maker. I have just one funnel for spices and I don't want the spices to mix. So for instance, let's say like tonight our meal called for cumin. Then um, when I was done, I would just transfer that over to one of these glass bottles and label it. And then I uh, am slowly but surely doing it and not mixing you know, flavors on that little um, funnel and it's kind of a slow, enjoyable process. But anyway, I've done that with a few things now. I've got some mahi-mahi seasoning that I make of my own, some fajita spice seasoning I make, and then cinnamon garlic powder. But let's just go through and make sure we have everything. I'm pretty sure I do need a couple spices in here. Up here, I'm pretty sure my, oh yeah, my cloves and nutmeg are on the low side. Let's write that down. It's been a, a tiny bit since I've done a really quick uh, check on everything to make sure that it's all in date. 
Like that one's just about to go out of date, but not this one, right? Oh yeah, that one's good. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of that one. You have to have super awesome eyes for some of this stuff. These ones that I made, those are homemade and I know that I'll use those up pretty quickly. There's not a ton in there. And then with the garlic power and cinnamon, I did check those dates beforehand and they're like way, way out there. So I am not worried about those going bad anytime soon. Okay, everything looks actually really good. So just the parsley here that's just about out of date here and we'll move on. Another really important drawer are my bags. Uh, parchment paper, 100% need that. And then oh, foil, oh my goodness, I'm out of a lot. Plastic wrap, I'm okay. Bags, bags, I need gallon bags, but I'm pretty sure I have those below. So let's check that. Down here, I keep extra. All right, I do have extra bags. Okay, awesome, I have extra foil, so don't need that. And then I have extra bags um, what I don't have extra bags for are sandwich bags, so I'm going to get those sandwich bags. I've been getting those at Aldi's lately, and they are pretty good. Oils. I just opened that olive oil. It's good to go. We just use the spray pan when I am making pancakes or the waffles in the waffle maker, but I do want to get more of that, and I definitely need to get more vegetable oil. So other than that, those are all that I use, so I don't need anything else. It's fridge time. Up at the top are those brown bags and the meat are for HelloFresh. We have two meals left. One I'll use tonight, one I'll use tomorrow. So let me move those. Let's do a little Tetris here while we're while we're at it. Okay, I'll leave the meat up there just so I can see it. Um, condiments, check them. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I have more ketchup in the fridge. I have more ketchup in the cabinet. Um, ranch, I probably should get more of that. Ground turkey is for lunch tomorrow. It's been thawing. I do want to get the kids to eat up these strawberries. So hopefully that will happen. Come close to my darling so you can see. All right, let's see what things are looking like in here. We got an orange, we got an apple. We got the limes and the lemons. We got some grapes still going. Excellent. Over here. Um, no, those have gone bad. Oh, these need to get used up ASAP. So I'm going to move those, move this, move this. What else do we have in here? Okay. Those look pretty good. Those look terrible. And that one's not looking good either. Wow. It is definitely grocery shopping time, my friends. Over here on the sides, I will get more jelly spread. We don't go through the grape too fast, so we're good there. Milk is looking good. And then down here, I always get more lactate. Doesn't even matter how much is sitting there because I never want to run out of that for Johanna. Eggs. Uh, yeah, more of eggs, 100%. We need more yogurt if they've got it. And then there's some pesto for some chicken. Butter, this is not gonna last us. So we usually get challenge butter and they didn't have it at one of the stores that we had to stop by real quick the other day. So we got the other one, but this needs to be nice and filled up. Let's write that down. Eggs, milk, yogurt, fruit. Oops, not two teas. Veggies, ranch. I think I know we've got ketchup. We're good on that. Okay. This here is Middle Earth. Okay. Um, I always get chocolate chips. It's just like a necessity. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, our cheese area looks good. I will get more of these. This is just kitty food, so that's gonna stay off by its lonesome. Now let's do the freezer. It's not necessarily the most organized at the moment. Um, that happens sometimes, you know? Okay, let's just, you know, let's just do that. 
I'm gonna use these ice packets. They were from HelloFresh. I'm gonna use that to keep stuff cold when I go grocery shopping. So we'll keep those, and then I won't have enough room to keep them after that, but that's okay. All ice cream must be in one location. The family doesn't seem to work so, but I do. There we go. Okay, we got pancakes left over from that. We'll put pizza down here for now. And then all of our fruits will go right here. And down here, let's see what we've got. All of our pork chops are good. I've been putting kind of seafood things here. Hey, we have steak. See, this is why I go through this, I had no idea. We've got some chicken. We've got a couple things of ground beef. I'll put that there. And then uh, chicken nuggets, right? Because that's a thing. And all right, so I will add to the list. It needs to be added. Hey, Mahi Mahi's here, so, and one bacon. So I need another bacon. And I will put mahi mahi down as one of the things that we're gonna make. Chicken, pork chops. Before we go in the laundry room, I thought it would be good to fill up the toilet paper. Okay, let's see how much we can put down here. I need these two rolls. All right, there's a bunch in there. We'll fill up this guy. Let's take the rest upstairs to the other bathrooms. Okay, we got one roll down here. That's not gonna do us. things to check. Mouthwash, I have another one in the other cabinet, but I will double check that. Lotion, I have more, but it's right here, so we're good. Hand soap, that needs more, and I know I have more. We got this lotion, this one's good. All right, mouth thingies. More up here, and I do believe that I have some in the other cabinet, like kind of a backstock area, so I'll check that. Q-tips for days, and I have a lot, a lot, a lot more of that. Hairspray, extra hold, Tresemme, looking good. Check in the shower. It's looking pretty good. Last area to fill up with the toilet paper. Here's my back stock area. So I've got diapers that I'm really good with, wipes, um, pull-ups. We actually don't need them anymore. So I just need to tidy that up a little bit. It's looking a little cray cray. All right, whoa. Back stock lotion, we're awesome. Back stock toothpaste and those little mouth thingamajigs. Toothbrushes, kids toothpaste, yeah, for days. Okay, those Q-tips were good, mouthwash were good hand soap and then this whole box of hand soap so we're really really good contact solution yes medicines we're pretty we're good on that okay so this is all good i'll tidy that up get everything looking nice on the shelf let's do it real quick here I'll probably have some toilet paper and we're good to go we got last things last which is the laundry room and this one will take just a few minutes a few seconds really but it's important because this is where the washing and the good things happen you know so let's check the closet and the shelves and then we're done a hundred percent need more disinfecting wipes so I'll be grabbing those um, Dusting spray would be nice to have more of. We're good on that, we're good on that. Uh, my dad brought me over his extra bags, which was awesome. 
and we use those for trash bags and diapers and all of that. So those are gonna sit there just for now. But I will put the paper towels up on the shelf as well as the tissues. And then you can notice that there are no, no toilet paper rolls here. So we definitely need to add that to the list. And over here, laundry soap is actually looking really good. How about this guy? Not good at all. And so I will definitely get more of that. I have an order in Amazon for this OxyClean Max Force. I love this stuff. They used to sell it in the store. That's where I first found it. And then they stopped. They always do that. Ugh. But you can find it on Amazon and it lasts, at least for us, it lasts a long time. So, wow. Last thing I need. The kids had that Go Fish game. You know that Let's Go Fishing game? And it needs a C battery. And that is the one battery I don't have. So I'm going to grab some more of those. Guys, this is the end. This is it. I'm going to put paper towels away. I'm going to put the tissue boxes on the shelf and add the things to the list. And this is how we get it done and make sure, you know, that we use our time the most wisely when we're spending three and a half hours grocery shopping. You know what I mean? Trying to get everything for the month so that things aren't running out and uh, making it kind of crazy all of a sudden last minute you're going ah, I don't have any more of this or that it's just all there it's a beautiful thing so make sure that you hit your notification bell and uh, subscribe so that when the once a month grocery haul comes out you can see that I'm going to be doing something a little different in this next once a month adding in some things I don't normally get and I want to show it to you so be sure to be there and you never know what happens on these grocery hauls let me tell you what it can be craziness I've had things chase me around, little cleaners. I've had credit card machines not working. Who knows what the adventure will be this time. But I will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.